I am Dr. Hussain Iqbal. I am an orthodontist and dentofacial orthopedist by profession. I provide treatments like braces, smile design, aligners, and also orthopedic jaw appliances to correct the jaw problems. I am a global Invisalign provider certified by Invisalign and also other aligner systems. The awareness amongst the parents for the dental needs of their kids over the past 10 to 15 years has increased considerably. There used to be a time when we used to get questions like, Doc, this is a milk tooth or this is a tooth that is going to shed off anyway. Should we be getting this treated? Well, over the past few years, we have realized or we have noticed a change in the pattern of questioning. The parents, they now ask, Doc, what is wrong with the tooth? How can we save it? Should we have come earlier? Or subsequently, what ha should have been a right age to approach a dentist for getting my kid treated? The answer to all these questions is yes, as early as possible, when the infant is 6 months old. During this time, the first teeth starts usually starts to begin or erupt in the oral cavity. This is the time when the parents need to bring their kids to the dentist. There may be other conditions like birth defects or congenital problems because of which the kids can be brought to the dentist at an earlier stage. But usually around the first six months is the time when the dentist should be met for the first time for the kids. And subsequently, every six months, a follow-up can be done to monitor the progress of the eruption of the teeth that will be coming in the arch. Conditions like nursing bottle caries, that is the dental infection that happens because of the wrong ways of bottle feeding. This usually happens in the age group of 0 to 2 years, that is during the infancy period. This is a very critical time when a mother or the parent can visit the pedorontist and discuss with them. A right counselling by the pedorontist will go a long way in helping with such conditions. Constant chocolate intake and binge eating on junk food, especially sticky sugars, is something that leads to a lot of dental caries in kids, especially in the age group of 2 to 6 years. So we highly recommend that the parents see the dentist between this age group to evaluate or intervene if at all such dental decay or such conditions are present. Every 6 months a follow-up can be made to continuously have a, a clinical observation in this regard. Also the right tooth brushing techniques helps the kids to maintain the teeth for the longest of times till the permanent ones erupt. Between the age group of 2 to 6 years or 2 to 7 years, the infections that have happened, already happened, which cannot be, I mean, controlled or prevented, now they have to be intervened. So once the parent, they visit a dentist, the kind of treatments that will be provided usually for the kids are in the form of simple restorative procedures. That means in layman terminology fillings for the tooth or it can lead to a pulpotomy procedure where a more complex infection would have resulted in tremendous pain for the kid. In those cases, a pulpotomy is required for the kid. Between the age group of 2 to 6 years or 2 to 7 years, the dental decays, if any, are addressed by the dentist in the form of simple restorative procedures. Many times, if the extent of the infection is too severe in nature and the patient presents with pain, then a simple restoration cannot suffice. In such conditions, we need to deliver a treatment called pulpotomy for the kids. It's nothing but a root canal procedure that is done for the kids. This is to elongate the life of the teeth in the mouth because the next tooth that is supposed to come would be only after 3 to 4 years. So the presence of that natural milk tooth in the mouth is very important and critical. As the age progresses, by around 6.5 to 7 years of age, the first permanent molars, they start erupting in the mouth. Now this is a very critical time because the first permanent molars or any permanent teeth in the mouth will be remaining in the mouth for the rest of their lives. It has to be dealt with very carefully. A close monitoring by the orthodontist and the pedorontist goes a long way. It's very important because all the procedures that needs to be done to prevent any disease or to intercept 
if at all any disease have happened in the kids can be done or are usually done in this age group that is between 7 years to 10 years suppose if the milk teeth has not shed off and a permanent teeth wants to come in that place it does not have enough space to come it will come in odd places which results in a clinical condition called crowding and usually later on in life the patient has to undergo a braces treatment which is very difficult for the kid that is why it is always better to prevent or to intercept a disease or a condition that may la later on lead to a more complex problem therefore the age range between 6 months to 12 years is very critical for the kids to be monitored by the dentist every 6 months a follow up visit can be done so that any critical conditions or even though if they are not so critical in nature and later on may lead to such critical conditions can be monitored can be evaluated can be assessed and addressed accordingly